delegation for August 22nd. I know that we need one more um, delegation member to have a quorum, so we won't be doing any voting until yep. we do that. But let's um, let's convene the meeting and have the pledge of allegiance. Start the meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you very much for being here today. And um, I just want to tell you that we will be having um, some public input, and then I'm going to jump over to look at the um, quarterly report for the nursing home so that our Sandy will be able to go over and um, keep looking at what it is. We're getting a truckload of beds delivered today. Um, the schedule is, is the state is coming in to see the uh, inspection on the 30th of August. And hopefully the, um, I hear that we're supposed to be moving on the 14th of September. 13th, excuse me. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. But I will take public input and then we will jump right to uh, Sandy so she can continue on doing the good job she's been doing. So, is there any public input? Oh, well, very good. Thank you very much. So, all right, let's... Um, it, um, regarding public input, regarding... Anything. Yeah? Well, I, I just wanted to say that um, I'm Carol Delorier from Brookfield, New mm -hmm. Hampshire, and I wanted to support um, the renovation of the nursing home particularly supporting uh, Carroll County uh, UNH Cooperative Extension. Um, I, I just think it's a very cost-effective way, and I really support using the nursing, the old nursing home that way. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And if Representative McConkie comes in, hopefully we'll be able to have a report on how that public hearing went, or if any other members that were on the subcommittee want to do that, that would be fine too. So thank you. And now what I'd like to do is let's now jump to our second quarterly report. And I'd like to go to, um, for the expenditures, go to page 12 and see if anyone has any um, questions um, on the Enterprise Fund, which is our nursing home. So look at page 12 for our expenditures. And I think it's page three for our revenues. And if, um, Sandy, you want to give us a quick overview, or if anybody has any questions, that would be good. I think I'd, for the interest of time, I'd like just to go to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. And let me just, if you look at the revenue and you subtract, subtract our expense, um, we're in the black. Six hundred eighty-two thousand and twenty-three dollars. So we the difference is we're in the red, green, no, we're in, the black. in the black, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> green is the right I think if you would look at nursing overtime, which has had a lot of discussion, I'd like to tell you that we have been working on initiatives. We've hired, um, we've uh, ha had an open position. We made it two part-time positions. Um, it was hired for nights, and so that would should decrease the overtime. As I compared um, the end of June of 2010 to 2011, um, it's down by 17,000 as far as overtime. And that was prior to bringing those um, two nurses on board. So that should, should really um, make a difference. There are other initiatives as well, but certainly the night shift um, usually does create um, some overtime in regard to licenses. I'd also like to say that We've had greater than six or seven um, staff members up on, out on Family Medical Leave Act, which does does impact um, our the use of our salary line items, which um, also works on that um, overtime line as well. Okay. Are there any questions of the delegation members on the um, what is, at this moment in time on the um, overtime on the nursing, which is on page twelve, um, and that we have. Hired two part time, is that what you said, or did you one part time, one full time? We had a, a full time position and we made it to two part time positions to give us lot better flexibility and to be able to cover um, um, cover the night shift better to decrease um, some of the overtime. 
again, the Director of Nurses has been looking at that overtime item very, very closely and working to manage that. Okay. Thank you. Any questions um, from the delegation members? And what was the figure in the black again? The figure in the black, I think, was that if you look at 682,023, right, Sandy? That's correct. That's the difference between the revenues that we received and the expenses we've done um, through June 30th. Okay, any further questions? And for uh, Chris, uh, Representative Algren, uh Sandy is, um, I, I skipped to do the nursing home review of the second quarter, so Sandy could go. We're getting a, um, we have a trailer load of beds coming in, and she's going to continue supervising and send someone else over. So if you have any questions now at the nursing home of Sandy, um, I'd appreciate it if we would talk about it. And if we need any further information, eventually we will probably get back, but we don't need to have her stay. Okay? Doesn't seem like, and Sandy, I want, I was at the uh, open house on Friday, and um, it's good to see the, uh, the new nursing home. I had a, a tour and I got lost, but that's all right. That's the way it is. I'm sure a lot of the, the, pet, the residents will feel the same way. And I know you have a lot of work to do for the um, inspection on the 30th. Uh, Madam uh, Chan, if I could clarify that, the open house for the general public is on the 10th of September. Oh. This open house was for subcontractors and 501c3. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we got to, oh, I'm sorry. So we got to go, so I was, I was pleased to be there. So good enough. Thank any you. any further input or anything that you delegation members would like to ask Sandy? Seeing done. Thank you, Sandy, Thank and you so enjoy much. the day. Okay, we now have our eighth person here. No, ninth person. So Representative Aubrey and McConkie have made it. Um, Karen, do you would you like to do a listing of the minutes that we need to approve or? Because, of course, I don't have that list. I think the only one that we have to do is the last one. That one is the last one. Did we, do, did we do all the other minutes? Okay. All right, so if you want to you want to make a... I think there was a list of them. Right? I thought we had... And we decided that we would wait because we didn't... Okay. So it may be that we're going to need to have that list again before we go. Okay. Oh, you okay. do. Go ahead. February 7th, 14th, and 28th. I thought it was first. Yeah, and then we have it some more in March. March 21st, 28th, and 31st. Mm -hmm. June 27th, and 28th. Does anybody have any problem with uh, proving those, we can do that. Okay, so what would happen is I'd take a motion from Representative Umberger to approve the minutes of February 7th, 14th, and 28th, March 21st, 28th, 31st, June 27th, and then July 18th, which was last time around. Is there a second? Yes, second. second. Second with Representative Flick. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Now, because I'm not sure we have any other um, minutes, I'll take a motion to go into convention. So moved. There's a motion by Representative Fleck to go into convention. Is there a second? Second by Representative Umberger. Um, all those in favor of going into convention, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Now I take a motion to ratify the Representative Umberger moves to uh, ratify the motion to approve the minutes um, that we did in executive session. Second um, by Representative Fleck. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, minutes are done again. And there's a motion by Representative Fleck, second by Representative Umberger to come out of the convention. All those, out, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, thank you. Now we can continue on with our <coughs> normal business that we talked about. Okay, thank you very much. Let's um, <coughs> now, if you want, let's go through, let's look at the uh, expenditures for the second quarter. Um, <coughs> and we can go through them. Um, for the general fund, let's look at page one. Also, what happens, you will see that there is a different color. Um, uh, guideline that you have that puts, uh, Kathy put this together 
and Kathy, I think these are all of the last years. Yep, June, June 10th, I mean June 30th, 2010. Okay, and does that, so that's how, you, and this is just for 2010? Yep. Okay. Because uh, there was questions about comparison, so that's what, and I did it on the blue papers. Yeah, so we could do that because it was too different, it wasn't able to put it on the white sheet. So there's your, there is your comparison if you need them. So um, let's now go to the general fund. It's account number 4100 for the commissioners. Anybody have any questions on that? And if you look at the bottom line for the commissioners, they're at 48% through the 30th of June. Any questions? Okay, let's go to the treasurer. At 37% for the end of June. Are there any questions? Okay, special fees and services. Um, page 2, they're at 22%. Any questions? Okay, human resources, account number 4103. Their bottom um, line number for the bid is at 40% for going through uh, June 30th. Then the waterworks, they're at 36%. Any question? Okay, the uh, county attorney is at 45% for um, the year up till June 30th. Okay, victim witness, account number 4111, going through at 45%. Any questions? Okay, registry of deeds. We're at 45%. Any questions? Okay, sheriff's department. Um, we are at 40% as of June 30th. Are there any questions on the sheriff's department? Dispatch Center, we are at 45%. Any questions on dispatch? Medical referee, we are at 27%. Any questions? Okay, administration building, we are at 46%. Any questions? All right, human services department, we're at 53%. And anybody have any questions on that? 53% for human services. Maintenance. We'll go down to 44%. Any questions? The sewer system. We're at 54%. Any questions on the sewer system? Just watch that one, Commissioner. That looks like it might be a creeper. Um, jailhouse and corrections, we are at 45%. Any questions? Madam Chairman? Yes. Um, I'd just like to bring to the delegation's attention is the heating. At heating the, at 060. I'm looking for it right now. Is it 65? Yes. I guess. Yeah, 65. We did 150 and we have posted 124,000, is that? We're at 82% yeah. spent. Um, and that subcommittee in the jail increased that heating expense when they met, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because the heating uh, cost is mostly in January, February, March. Uh, if we have a decent fall through the first of the year, we should be okay. But I just want to bring that to the attention that we're at 82 percent. Um, and you'll find also in the administration building the heating is, is close to. That's the major issue, I think. Not, not an issue, but I mean it's getting close to, to spending, perhaps maybe overspending, depending on the fall, how cold it is this fall. Okay. Let's look. Can you tell me where we are in the administration building so we can just make a note of that? I know that I, ju I just read it, but I can't remember when I did it. On page seven. six, Madam Chair. Six. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. If you go to page six under O, that's the dispatch. Page seven. Page seven. Okay. Page seven, if you go to 
account number 065, same. We're at